Let's start things off with the hot streak tomato. Look how massive these sets are. Look at this tomato. Beautiful color, incredible streaking going on right there. Outstanding flavor, broad disease resistance. The first year I've ever grown this one, but I'm definitely going to be growing it in the future. An overall fantastic tomato, a hybrid and an indeterminate variety too. The Mountain Magic tomato, good uniformity in the fruit. You could harvest whole trusses of this thing, which is what I'm gonna do right there. Look at that, look how crazy it looks. Excellent sweet flavor, good disease resistance, especially to blight, an absolute winner, indeterminate hybrid, and as you go up the plant, you can see the thing is just stacked with even more fruit. This one is really an excellent yielder also. Here is the mushroom basket tomato. Look how much fruit is on this thing, it's crazy. And this one has incredible ribbing. Look at that, look at the texture of this thing. A nice watermelon pink, heirloom variety, good producer, uniform size for the fruit, and a great flavor too. This one is just insane. I'm gonna take this one too, even though it's not super ripe. But look at that, this is what it looks like when it's super ripe. Look at the color on these, and the texture. This one is an absolute winner. The Lemon Boy Plus, an improved variety from the classic Lemon Boy. Massive yields, beautiful tomatoes, good size, not many uh, impurities or blemishes on this one, especially this fruit right here. Look at that. Nice color to it. Even more disease resistance than the classic Lemon Boy and a uh, higher yield. Look how many fruit are on this thing. The Sunrise Bumblebee. Nice, sweet, fruity flavor. Uh, crazy color of the yellow and the orange swirl together. Look at that fruit. Crazy looking. Looks like something out of a painting. The black strawberry tomato, a nice balance between sweet and acidic, early producer, high yielder, and the colors on this thing are just crazy. Look at this. Let me just grab these couple more here. And then bring them over here. Look at the, look at the colors on these things. <laughs> Amazing tomato, really good stuff. The gold metal tomato from the top doesn't look that crazy, but then when you turn this thing around, it's got this excellent red blushiness that comes from the blossom end. Very delicious, sweet, mild fruit. Looks like there's a little, little bug right there, but look at this color. Huge fruits too. These things get like up to three pounds. So I've got big hands, but this tomato looks, this is a massive one. Look at the size of this thing. Really nice tomato. Definitely a winner. The sweet treats tomato. Look at this one. Beautiful ruby color. Really good sweet flavor. Has a similar flavor to like a full size beef steak tomato. Massive yielder, good disease resistance, and uh, overall crazy, crazy good tomato. The Soldaki tomato, Polish heirloom. Nice pink blush to it. Probably my favorite tomato for making tomato sandwiches. Really great variety, nice beef steak, and uh, I love growing this one. Berries, crazy cherry. Look at the trusses. Look how much fruit are on these things. They're so ripe, they're just falling off. Nice pale yellow tomato. A mild flavor, but really, really good. And you can see the yields on these things are <laughs> unbelievable. Me and Tuck wanted to mention to uh, check out some of the merch down at jingsprigioni.com. Grab a grow shirt or grab a gardening life shirt and be part of the team. And also check out some of the fertilizer if you want to grow healthy plants like we're growing here. That's the fertilizer we're using for most of these plants. So check out some of the stuff at jamesprigioni.com. The Jolene tomato, nice shape, really good beefsteak, a determinate variety. So they're basically all ready at once. Look at the size of those yields though. This is all one plant. All this here, back there. The Jolene, first time growing this one, but I'll definitely be growing it again in the future. Really good stuff. The Goldie tomato, open pollinated, indeterminate, really nice color to it. It's got a rich flavor and it's got really nice silky texture when you cut into them. One of the best probably orange tomatoes, really good stuff. The Gardner Sweetheart tomato, this one, these ones have a really cool shape to them. I'll show you. They last on the vine for like ever. It almost looks like a heart. Unique kind of look, but really deep rich flavor. Overall, 
awesome tomato. Uh, definitely one I like growing. Even just for the uniqueness from like the other cherry tomatoes that are just perfectly round, these ones are just really cool looking. The blue cream berry tomato, really cool color to it, look at that. Really prolific plants, incredible like sweet flavor to it. One downside, it is prone to splitting a little bit when you get a heavy rain, but overall a really nice tomato. I mean, look at these. And the plant just never stops kicking them out. The early girl tomato, nice color to them. Relatively easy tomato to grow. Early producer, um, nice meaty flavor to the, uh, meaty texture to the tomato when you cut open to it. Uh, you can see though, nice color. Overall, relatively just standard easy tomato to grow, but a good one to have in the garden to know you're gonna get consistent harvest from it. The sun gold cherry tomato. This is by far my favorite flavored tomato. The more I think about it, it's probably just my favorite tomato to grow overall. A crazy good winner. Actually tastes like candy when you try them. And it's always hard for me to walk by this thing without grabbing a snack of them. Good production too, look at that. But let me just throw one in my mouth because I, I can never walk by it without eating one. The cherry bomb tomato. If you have problems with blight, you gotta grow this one. Known to have bomb proof disease resistance to blight. Nice color to the tomato, good flavor. Very easy to grow and does excellent late in the season. I love this tomato. Since I started growing it a couple of years ago, I haven't stopped. I probably never will. It's a really good tomato. Hartman's yellow gooseberry. A really nice yellow tomato. Good size on them. High yielder. Easy to grow. And just a, a great tomato. I really like this one. The black cherry tomato. Typical black tomato flavor. Unique look to it. Healthy plants, nice yields. Just a really cool tomato, look at that. Nice dark tones. The Super Sweet 100 tomato, probably my second favorite of all time tomato, and probably my second favorite flavored one. This one is very reliable, consistent producer, uniform, beautiful shape. This is like your typical, incredible, cherry tomato. I mean, you can't get better than this when it comes to a cherry tomato. Only in flavor with the sun gold, but this one I always grow. Again, my second favorite all-time tomato, the Super Sweet 100. Look at those sets. The Queen of the Night tomato. This one probably boasts the most insane colors. Let me show you. Look at this. Crazy look to it. Really cool. Good flavor on them as well. The plants remain relatively small and compact, and even though this one looks really cool, probably won't grow this one again. Not a huge producer, Didn't look, doesn't look too healthy, the whole plant. I've grown a couple different ones in different locations. None of them have done prolifically, so worth it to try just once, but I probably won't be planting this one again. Regardless though, look at those colors. The pink bumblebee tomato, similar to the sunrise bumblebee, but a, a bit larger. I think I like growing these ones a little better. Higher yield and still a really nice color to it. Not that yellow sunrise color, but really look at that. Beautiful pink and a pretty nice yielder too, as you can see. So I really like this plant. Brad's Atomic Grape Tomato. This one has so many different <laughs> colors mixed into it. Look, you got orange, black, green. I mean, it's just uh, crazy to look at. Also a really sweet flavor. They hold well, and it's just got a different level of beauty to it. They're, the plants grow relatively well too. It's decently yielding if you trail up the plant, look. Some pretty nice sets to it. So this is one that not only looks cool, has a good flavor, but also grows well. So I'll definitely continue to be growing this one. Brad's Atomic Grape. Uh, I really like this one. The Indigo Cherry Tomato. Crazy color on this one. Look at that. The reds with the black up top can split a little bit sometimes. And uh, kind of a good producer, but the plant was relatively sickly. So this is one I probably want to grow again. I mean, it has a good flavor to it, uh, a really nice look to it, but overall, probably skip this one in the future, but still, I mean, you gotta respect how beautiful it looks. It's just crazy. And look at all the pollen on my hands from uh, harvesting all these tomatoes. <laughs> the Sakura tomato. Probably the earliest producer that I have. Really good tomato. 
good flavor, really nice disease resistance, which allows it to not only produce early, but to keep kicking out fruit basically all season long. Look at that color with a little bit of yellow at the top, really nice. Good yields on it too, so uh, definitely a good tomato. My first time growing it, but I'll definitely be growing it next year too because it's nice getting tomatoes really early in the season and it's got a nice flavor to it. The pink tiger tomato, sweet, really nice, excellent flavor and loaded with tomatoes. Cool shape on these tomatoes, look how elongated they are and nice variation of color with the reds and the orange. High yielding, look how much fruit this thing has on it. Look at this, really nice. And for some reason the plant has always looked a bit sickly, even though it doesn't have, seem to have a lot of issues, it's just the leaves curl a bit, but overall it's a really nice producer. Uh, it might be worth it for the flavor and we'll see if we do it again in the future, but overall a really nice tomato and just look at how crazy cool those tomatoes look. The orange hat tomato, this one is bred to stay really small like this. Relatively good flavor, but it's just so cool how compact these plants are. I grew them in just little milk cartons and they did relatively well. They can split sometimes, but overall, if you don't have a lot of space, you're just on a patio, you have a really small container. This is an awesome option. The orange hat is a really lot of fun to grow. The Defiant PHR, mid-size slicer tomato, good resistance to like a uh, blights, that's one of the reasons it was bred. Hybrid, pretty nice color, good flavor. Overall, easy tomato to grow, high yielder, and a good one to have in the garden, especially if you fight blight a lot. Nice tomato. The Castelluto Genovese. This one in the past has done really well for me, but this year just seemed to have some issues. Some of the tomatoes look okay, but just a lot of problems. So maybe it was just this particular plant. I'm gonna give it another try next year because I really did have nice fruit in the past. But um, I'm not sure exactly what it was this year. I assume it, it was just a bad seed and bad plant, but I really do like this variety, even though the tomatoes are less than impressive. Uh, a really good heirloom Italian though, so uh, we're definitely gonna try it again next year because I do like this tomato. The Julia tomato, easy to grow, high yielder, stays in the plant for a while, nice flavor to it. They can crack a little bit sometimes, but they're relatively crack resistant. Overall, just a super simple tomato to grow. A really nice one to have in the garden to make sure you're getting some consistent yields because it's a, a definitely a staple tomato to have in there. Really nice stuff though, and pretty good size for like that grape shape. Nice tomato. That's today's video growers. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you got something out of it. Me and Tuck wanted to do something a little different where it was almost like rapid fire of harvesting all the different kinds of tomatoes just to give you an idea of what they look like when they're grown, whether or not you should grow them in your backyard and just to kind of give you a different perspective. It's just starting to drizzle here. So I think we've got perfect timing. Me and Tuck wanted to send a thank you to one of our new channel members, Jerry. Thanks for being a part of Team Grow. Thanks for having your hand in everything we're doing out here in all the different varieties of tomatoes we've grown. And we also wanted to say to check out the merch down at jamesprigioni.com. Grab a grow shirt, grab a gardening is life shirt, and be part of the team. Also check out some of our fertilizer, Mine and Tuck's fertilizer, if you wanna have healthy plants like we have out here. That's what we're, we're using for everything we're growing back here. Even with the, even the sweet potatoes back here, we're using that fertilizer. So uh, we had a blast out here, we hope you did too. Tuck is laying over on the side. He's having a bit of a tough day. Hey Tucky, hey boyo, Tuck, you right boy? You okay? So he's having a bit of a tough day today. Sometimes when we get stormy days, it just, he struggles a bit more, but I'll give you an update on how Tuck is doing in the not too distant future. And uh, we just wanted to, again, say thank you to everyone who supports the channel, who follows us along for the journey. And we hope we gave you some good ideas when it comes to growing tomatoes. Tuck and James will be back again real soon. We out.